What's up, everybody? It's Brandon from Box Office Banner and Coat Flick Symposium, and I am back with yet another review. Did you see it coming? I'm starting to get in the flow again. I'm starting to get in the mix. I'm starting to see more new movies again after my vacation hiatus. And I just watched We Clone Tyrone, or They Clone Tyrone. Is that the fucking name? Maybe I'm not back in the swing of things yet. I believe it's called They Clone Tyrone. I did not really know shit about this movie. I think I remember hearing about it going into development. I was like, oh, a movie with John Boyega and Jamie Foxx. But I kind of forgot about it. It was off my radar. And then, poof, it was on Netflix. I was like, I think I remember. Was this the movie? I was like, yeah, I think it is. I was like, man, but I haven't even watched the trailer. I really don't know shit about this one, which is rare for me. Not as rare this year. But last year, I was all like, I don't know if I was just on my game. Like, I watched 160 movies last year. I was just like, man, new trailer. What's coming out? What's coming out? I was just all up into it. Now, I've kind of stepped back and wanted to be surprised by a few films that aren't as in your face. Not ones that, you know, like ones I don't have to seek out. They're going to be prevalent, obviously, because they're there. But ones I have to seek out myself. A little bit more mystery to him, you know. And that's how I felt going into this movie. Had an idea, but I didn't quite know. Never watched a trailer. Not a day in my life for this movie. Fired it up. Let's go. It was amazing. I love this movie. Loved it. One thing I loved about this movie, more than anything, it felt original. And let me tell you, I've talked about this on the channel before. And actually... I think one time I had somebody, or at least a few times, had some pushback. Just like, what do you mean? Talking about like the undertones of a film. And one of the undertones I got pushback for from a couple people was talking about like what, like they wanted to do the whole race thing. Like, what do you not like black people? They were doing like that whole thing. Like, I remember I had this with like Candyman, the Candyman remake. I felt like the undertones overtook the movie. And it was like, I have no problem with what they're saying. I'm not even saying I disagree with it. It just feels too forced. It doesn't feel subtle. It doesn't feel like it flows with the movie as an undertone. It feels like an overtone. It overtakes the movie, at least to me, in my opinion. This movie, it's got the undertones, which I love. I love when I can take a step back and then I can rewatch the movie and pick up on and look for those things even more, but I don't want it to get in the way of the movie itself. This movie is a great example of that. Because even if you take the undertones away, it is still just a fun fucking ride. It is. Now, don't get me wrong, the stuff's there. It's there the whole time. Maybe even you could say it's not quite undertone. But it's not like, let me lay this out. So this is going on over here, and this is going on over here, and that makes the white man bad. It doesn't feel like that. You know, make it to where we're we can be smart enough to where it's not shoved down our throat. It might show it for a second, but we move on. Like, it felt a little too harped on at times. And Candyman, for example, and has been in other movies. And this goes for anything. It doesn't have to be the race thing, obviously. But this movie, absolutely loved how it was portrayed because the movie, as a comedy, dark comedy, that is, as a sci-fi movie as just a movie that feels original, drama. There's some good emotion at times in this movie. Works in spades. John Boyega, man. After he did Breaking last year, I always liked John Boyega, but Breaking? Whew. Dude, killed that movie. Then he comes back with this one. I actually thought Jamie Foxx was the lead. Jamie Foxx is obviously in the movie a lot, and so is the other actress whose name is escaping me that goes by Yo-Yo. Uh, she's great, too. But the point is, is I thought this was Jamie, again, not seeing the trailer, I thought this was more of a Jamie Foxx vehicle. They're there, but this is clearly John Boyega's movie. He is never in question about being the lead star, and I am fucking glad that he was. And such a cool character he plays, too. Now, he plays more of, like, you know, we've seen him play, because he's not from America. We've seen him, like, kind of be like a ghetto type of thug and attack the block. But, you know, he's like, attack the block. He's doing it in that voice. I've never seen him quite play this type of character, like a drug dealer, I guess, in this vein. And I think he not only nailed it, he ran with it and he killed it. And I don't see, I didn't watch the trailer, so I don't want to reveal 
that this person's in this movie. It might be painfully obvious that he's in this movie, but I did not know he was in this movie, and he did a very good job, so I guess I'm just going to leave it at that. But there's a certain actor that I really, really, really enjoyed showing up in this movie. And you will be like, yeah, uh, is he talking about this guy? Because it's in the trailer and everybody knows that. Or if, guess what, it is one of those more hidden, like, oh, shit, guess who's in this movie is, like, the bad guy. Then you might be like, oh, damn, oh, shit. Like, yeah, he's right. He's on the money with that take. Definitely happy to see him in here. So we'll keep his name as him. And the overall vibe of the movie, like I said, it all comes together so perfectly, and we're just missing so many movies like this. And the undertones I was speaking on, I just thought it came together perfectly. The What was represented by making these clones, what that all that entailed, what all that actually meant, the status quo, basically, of America essentially being okay with black people only if they're whitewashed. I loved how everything played out. See, I don't want to give away too much because I don't know how much is in the trailer. But the little things, I, I would imagine that, you know, the way trailers are, it would at least show you this. But all the things that, that the way they were controlling black people in this movie. I don't know what all they showed in the trailer with this. Again, I did not watch the trailer for the hundredth time, so I'm trying to tiptoe because I hate to be spoilery. But obviously the movie is about controlling black people and the way white people can feel like they have their thumb down on black society. Whether you agree with that or not, I think you should watch anything with an open mind and see if you enjoy it, even if you disagree with the message. So please leave that shit at the door. But the point is, is the way it's conveyed and the way it comes across and the way it flows within this original story and the old school grainy feel. I got to say, man, I love that in movies. So this was right up my alley in that regard. Um, another random shout out. I've talked about this before. It seems like John Claude Van Damme. I don't know if it's because I'm such a big John Claude Van Damme fan, but he's like always referenced or always on like one of his movies is on a TV within the movie. No shortage here uh, because that happens again in this movie. I don't think that's a heavy spoiler, but there's a scene where blood sports on in the background. And I literally just told my wife this. I was like, he just, I don't know why he just always pops up in movies. Like, three movies I watch later, I'm like, there he is again. What the fuck, dude? What is going on? So Van Damme, we're staying alive, buddy. But overall, I can't say enough about this movie. I don't think it'll be for everyone, but if you like, you know, slow-ish burns with really solid acting and a movie that maybe for you, you're like, I feel like it couldn't pin down what it wanted to be, maybe that could be a problem for you, but going in with an open mind knowing the type of movie it is again kind of like i said with the blackening which i also enjoyed wasn't amazing but solid this is a way better movie than that so if i had to give a random reference uh to which movie you should see uh this over the blackening if you watch my uh ranking of the year you now know that this is above that (laughs) but or if uh you want to see a movie that just gives you a little bit of everything you know where you're not looking at it like, oh man, pick a fucking spot. Or you're not looking at the undertones like, pick a side and being, you know, whatever that is. (laughs) But you can watch a movie and be like, yeah, man, it's got the comedy, it's got the drama, it's got the action, it's got the sci-fi. It's got a little bit of fucking everything. And this could have been like one of, if not Jamie Foxx's like last fucking role, dude, because he... I don't know if some people are saying it was a stroke that happened to him, but remember, not that long ago, like, was it maybe a month ago at most, Jamie Foxx was in, like, critical condition, bro. And we thought it was over for him. This could have been his swan song. So, I mean, come on, man. Watch Jamie Foxx's performance. Be happy we still have him. Be happy we have original movies like this. And be happy that Netflix, who's honestly, like... I won't say they're more missed than hit with like their main mainstream ones that they push more and end up being like, oh, number one on Netflix. They're kind of hit or miss, you know, about 50 50, but they're hardly ever great. And this one is one you definitely got to see. Check it out if you've not seen this movie yet. If you have seen it, let me know what you think. 
because I personally fucking loved it. There's only one thing in the movie that holds it back for me, and it's a little creative choice at the end. Also, I'm not going to say this person either, but I said one actor shows up as, like, the bad guy and all that. Again, might be in the trailer, but I don't know if it is, so I won't say his name. But that was cool. But there's also somebody, I don't know if maybe he's in the trailer. It's brief, but there's a cameo by another person. And this cameo, you'll know it when you see it if you haven't seen it, was great. It was like, oh, shit, it's him, it's him. So we got a couple of those maybe potentially in this movie for you. But definitely check it out. This is an 8.9 out of 10 to me. Maybe I'm being a little too generous. Let's do 8.8, which is still obviously really, really high score. Like I said, the only thing holding it back for me, the ending. Just There's a part in the ending that just did not quite work for me. It's a little bit of like a plot hole-ish type of situation that made everything feel all just a little too easy. I wanted a little more effort. I wanted a little more grind in this particular section of the ending. So take that with what you will and know either way you need to see this movie. Again, let me know. Let me know what y'all thought of this movie if you've seen it. I love you guys. 8.8 is the score. Y'all have a good one.